Hello, everyone. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining us. This evening, we are going to be talking about our Gold Seal programs and our schools of choice. And these are going to be all the programs that we have listed on our late application. There are going to be a few campuses that are not present this evening, and that is going to be because they do not have any programs uh, or seats available in their programs or at their campuses um, at this time. So we are going to get started. I'm going to share my screen so that you get a chance to see a little bit of information about each program while, while our specialists are speaking. And we not only have our specialists here with us this evening, we actually have um, a principal as well uh, from one of our elementary campuses that's actually going to be starting us off. So please make sure that you ask questions um, in the chat. We are here to answer any questions that you may have. Um, and I hope that you get all the information that you need this evening and it will get you prepared and ready to apply. So without further ado, we're gonna get started um, after I share my screen and we will begin with uh, Riverside Apply. <clears throat> Good evening. My name is Jennifer Kennedy, and I am the principal for Riverside Applied Learning Center. Um, Jacqueline, I also um, told Drew, who was not able, Mr. Farr, who was not able to be here for JT Stevens, who also has openings, that I would touch on his school since we do run the same program, um, and we are codifying our programs, um, but I would speak for him as well. Thank you um, very much. So I'm going to go over just what applied learning is for the district. So. We have three um, elementary applied learning centers within the district. We have Alice Carlson Applied Learning Center, Riverside Applied Learning Center up on the north side, and then JT Stevens Applied Learning Center. At Riverside Applied Learning Center, all three of our centers, we are codifying our program to make sure that what you get at one, you get at all three of us. It is an amazing non-traditional approach to instruction at all three campuses that lead to an amazing middle school campus um, applied Learning Academy for sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. So here at the elementary, um, we have five core beliefs and those core beliefs drive our instruction. What we believe is that it is our job as a community to foster that sense of community and lifelong learning within our students so that they don't think that they just come to school to learn and then they go home and they don't have to learn anymore. But we wanna foster that sense that life is a learning journey all the time. We want to teach an understanding of accountability and their, their role within each concept of learning and that they are accountable for their own learning within society, within the community, within the classroom, within their homes. We, as Applied Learning Centers, want to encourage and facilitate collaboration. Everything about life is collaboration. We do not live on an island. Everything we do we have to know how to do it together. You have to know how to work with each other and work as a team. We also provide avenues for students to find their voices. This is probably one of the, our biggest core beliefs is students have to know how to advocate for themselves, for their own strengths and for what they need in the classroom and in their own lives. And we believe in creating an environment that promotes problem identification, inquiry, and problem solving. It is our students that drive the instruction inside our classrooms. They identify what's going on in the world, what is it that we need to do about it, and then through the standards, the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills, through our TEKS and those standards, we help them problem solve those real world, those real world based problems through the, learning those standards. And so we are responsible for taking the STAR and for all of the other um, assessments that the rest of the district is responsible for. We just have a non-traditional approach to how we learn them. Our vision is to empower lifelong learners through real world student led learning opportunities. It is not a sit and get at our schools. It is student-led. It is hands-on student voice. 
Our mission is to cultivate a real world relevant learning community for our students by fostering student choice. That is number one. Students have choice. They have to learn how to make decisions for themselves. Student choice, collaboration, continuous innovation, and accountability through an applied learning experience. What you get at Alice Carlson, you will get at Riverside Applied and you will get at JT Stevens. Right now, only JT Stevens and Riverside Applied have some openings. So we hope that you want to join our applied learning community today. We are K through five. If you wanna hold your phone up to the screen and look at that scan me to see a sneak peek inside our school, you will see those core beliefs in action inside a third grade classroom right there on that QR code right there. Are you interested in seeing what we look like in real life? Give me a call. Phone number is right there, 817-815-5800. Set up a tour. I'll take you around. Actually, I won't take you around. My kids will take you around. We have student ambassadors that will take you around that school and show you what it's all about and answer all of the questions for you. Or send me an email up there in the corner, jennifer.kennedy at fwisd.org. Send me an email or give us a call tomorrow and we will set up that tour and we will get you started with applied learning today, tomorrow. We're super excited about it. The spots are filling up quickly through late applications. So you're gonna wanna get into JT Stevens or Riverside quickly, 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 because they are filling up very quickly. I actually just got a new list with 10 more kiddos on it. So you're gonna wanna get in quickly. I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much, Ms. Kennedy. Okay, next we have uh, Carter Riverside High School. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Catalina Lara, and I am the post-secondary specialist at Carter Riverside High School. I, um, I am here to talk to you a little bit about the PTEC program that we have at Carter. So this is our first year implementing um, the program. Um, we have our first group of freshmen uh, taking these um, college classes and um, we couldn't be more excited about what this program has to offer to the current group of students that we have and our incoming freshmen. Um, so our PTEC program at Carter is based on cloud technology and the best part about the program is the fact that the kids not only graduate with the traditional high school experience, um, getting to go through um, um, all the fun activities that high school, that a high school, a traditional high school has to offer, but also the, they have the opportunity to also graduate with a degree from TCC in applied science um, and convergence technologies. And so um, they are um, going through the process of getting all their high school uh, credit hours, as well as um, their college classes that they would have to take in order to, to complete this degree plan. And then on top of that, they um, also accumulate certifications throughout the way that are going to be um, big help when it comes to getting uh, jobs out there once they graduate from high school. Um, and so what I have uh, been talking to the kids uh, so far, um, and uh, we have been going to Riverside Middle already to talk to the eighth graders there, is um, the fact that right after high school, they'll have the opportunity to make $75,000 a year. And that's the starting point with the uh, industry partner that uh, started the program with us. And so that's big. It's big when it comes to the opportunities that they have financially. And the best part is Everything is covered by Forward ISD. Uh, there is no cost to the program. So the kids graduate with this amazing opportunity, right? And, uh, and they don't have to pay for anything. Forward ISD covers transportation, books, everything that the kids need. And then we have a great support system at our high school as well. Um, we have uh, a great group of individuals that work with the kids, including myself. We work with the kids. 
uh, that are struggling, that need, assi need assistance, because we all know that those college classes are going to be difficult for our babies. And so I have two QR codes, one with more information about the program. This is the flyer that you would get at the um, um, expo. And then the other one is just more information about our school. So uh, feel free to use your camera and your phone to um, get those two. Thank you. Thank you very much, Catalina. Next, we have Arlington Heights High School. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Okay, sorry, just make sure. Um, hi, I'm Jennifer Pacheco Mims. I'm from Arlington Heights High School. Um, I've got two programs tonight that are still on the um, late application. Um, our agriculture program and animal science. Um, you can gain certifications, um, just like it says on the, the uh, PowerPoint, uh, um, veterinary assistant certification, welding certification, free yard tech, um, cattle care handling, free yard um, technician, machinery operations, repair and maintenance. Um, our students are very um, involved if, if you're in that program, you're very involved in the FFA, which is the Future Farmers of America. Um, that basically gets our kids out and about and um, competing all over the state. Um, our students successfully compete in um, many career development um, and leadership events. Um, lives, they do livestock projects, they do public speaking. So it's not just researching animals, it's, it's all life skills also. Um, our students that are in our career development teams often advance to a state level of competition. Um, they, um, our leadership development teams participate in interesting events. Um, they get to do green hand skills, job interviews, radio broadcasting, uh, senior quiz and senior skill. Oops, sorry. Um, we have a barn off of Camp Bowie um, where our students um, house their animals. We've got all kinds of animals. We've got cattle, sheep, goats, swine, chickens, whatever you're thinking. Um, Basically, um, all of our kids, they present uh, at youth fair projects all over the place um, all year long. Um, it's a very involved program. Um, if you're into animals, that would be a, a really good program for you. Um, we also have um, our fine arts dance program. Um, it is in its 27th year at Arlington Heights. Um, if you're interested in concert dance, so ballet, modern, jazz, um, this would be right up your alley. Um, we, our kids receive high quality dance training through um, the individual instruction that they receive in class and also through choreography, dance production. Um, they kind of get it all. Um, and like I said, our program is in its 27th year. Um, we also have pre-professional level dance company. Um, we have a freshman dance company and we also have our, um, our, our higher level dance company for our older students. Um, it, they're both exceptional youth companies and they're you know, recognized throughout the nation. Um, our students have the opportunity to um, basically uh, try out for colleges um, through our um, college program that we do. Um, it's once a year, it's an annual college fair. Um, we've had students that get basically um, college scholarships on the spot for dance. Um, it's really kind of neat. Um, if you have any questions, um, let me know. Um, oh, for the fine arts dance program, there is a mandatory um, video. It's a, we have a video audition still. Um, if you um, sign up, we'll send you the information for that. And you, um, we look forward to seeing your video audition. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jennifer, for that information. Hey, okay, on Arlington Heights. And next we have um, South Hills High School. Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for attending along with us this evening. Uh, my name is Cinda Andrews. I am the post-secondary specialist at South Hills High School. Um, I'm here to talk about our P-TECH program, which is called the Web Applications Program. The school is located in the southwest part of Fort Worth, uh, south of I-20. So easy, easy and conveniently located uh, for your students. Um, a couple of the things I'd like to bring to, to light about our program. This year is our first year uh, with our program. We currently have 17 students who are on their way to earning 12 college credit hours for just their first year in high school. So we're you know very uh, pleased with them. 
currently we have 25, 26 uh, new applicants that will be joining us next year. Uh, we'd love to have your students um, check us out and um, see what we have available. The program itself um, is a P-TECH program. Um, again, like the other P-TECH programs, it's free college tuition. Uh, we provide transportation. Fort Worth IC provides transportation if necessary. Uh, the program itself um, offers 60 um, college credit hours minimally. Uh, it is associate of science degree for this particular program. Um, certifications are available um, in Computer Science 1 and Computer Science 2. Um, our partner higher college ed, ed <clears throat> institution is uh, TCC, the South Campus out on I-20. So it again is, you know, conveniently located to the campus. Um, our ninth grade Courses will be held on the South Hills campus, so if you have some reservations about, you know, your, your child first year in high school also going to college, you know, we're there to help support and mold them into college students. Um, we plan on also uh, pairing our ninth graders in an AVID class so they have the extra academic uh, assistance there, so also along, you know, with, you know, socializing and uh, being part of that program. Um, the uh, school, the campus itself uh, also offers, you know, a full complement of advanced level courses in pre-AP and advanced placement courses. We have dual credit courses um, paired with uh, UT on-ramps and other TCC dual credit courses. Um, we obviously have um, sports, uh, both men's on the women's and men's side. Uh, we offer, you know, other UIL competitions, lots of clubs and activities throughout the year, um, just a full high school experience. Um, the applications are open for this program. Uh, I'd love to have an opportunity again to work with uh, your family, your child, if you think this is interest. Um, you know, um, primarily the student, you know, not only along with the computer interest would be um, a good fit would be a student with a high um, aptitude in math because there will be computer science classes along the way. Um, my information is in the QR code at the bottom. Please feel free to go ahead and give that a scan. Um, I can also put my information in the chat. And, you know, again, uh, to give us a look at South Hills. I'm happy to, to work with you. Thank you. Thank you, Cindo. We've heard some great information so far from all the programs. Um, so I hope that you've heard something of interest already, but we are gonna continue on, okay? And we are going to have Diamond Hill Jarvis and Amy Brown is gonna let us know what's going on at Diamond Hill Jarvis. Hi, my name is Amy Brown. And um, I wanted to talk to you first about our Pathways in Technology Early College High School P-TECH program. So you heard from some of the other schools already about P-TECH. Um, at our campus, you are applying for either architectural technology, construction management, or logistics and supply chain management. Those are our three pathways in P-TECH. Um, each one can get you an Associates of Applied Science if you take all the courses all the way through. Each one also offers at least two certifications along the way. Um, architectural technology is for those students who want to work in an architecture law firm primarily. They're going to actually get an architectural technology um, associate's degree with their certifications, and they will um, be CAD certified and can actually start drafting and working in an architecture firm with this degree. Um, construction management is more of looking at uh, a manager on the construction side. So you're going to learn how to be a um, construction manager. Um, we also have um, trucking and warehouse. Some of those also fall along with our logistics and supply chain management. So some of our courses um, are actually found in each one of our pathways. So that kind of makes it fun that you get to have some college courses with the other programs and get to know those students as well. Um, it is our first year implementing it. So we have some freshmen right now in our architectural architectural technology program and our construction management. We haven't had any students in our logistics and supply chain management, but we're hoping that we get um, students this year to apply for that one. Um, we are looking more towards working with 
companies like Amazon um, and their warehouse distribution, TCC Northwest actually has a very strong logistics and supply chain management um, associates program that a lot of people like to go through. So we're partnered with them for that. For architecture and construction, we are partnered with the TCC South Campus. We actually have um, four different um, partners now on the business side. Uh, we work with Trinity Habitat for Humanity. Um, obviously that's for our architecture and construction. We work with Encora and Saddleback Leather Company. And hold on, there's one more. There's another one and I will think of it probably before the end of this presentation. Um, we also have our gold seal programs of choice. Um, we have veterinary medicine, um, much like Arlington Heights has it. We actually focus a lot with the FFA. Um, we are working towards a veterinary certification. Um, so we hope that you would join this program if you're very interested in working with animals. And by your senior year, we actually have students go out and work in veterinary clinics so they can earn those hands-on certifications and have their certification before they graduate and can start working um, in the vet clinics at a higher pay than students that haven't had that experience. Um, we also have welding. Um, and so we have freshmen and sophomores in welding so far. Um, and we've actually created a welding competition um, group out of these courses. Uh, they've already traveled to different competitions and they're hoping to gain more people to help them on uh, their track to gain success in that program. So if you're interested in getting your Associates of Applied Science in architecture, construction, or logistics, or you're hoping to get certifications in working with animals or welding, this is the school for you. We, sorry about that. <laughs> we also have... Um, advanced courses and dual credit. We have the on-ramps through UT, we have AP program. Um, so, and we have um, the 2020 boys uh, state finalist soccer team. So we have all the sports that you're looking for and all the high school experience you can imagine. So feel free to come to Diamond Hill. Thank you very much, Amy. And next up, we have um, Dunbar High School um, with Dr. Peterson. Hello, good evening, everyone. Can you all hear me? Yes, ma'am. All right, awesome. So at Dunbar, we have a few pathways in our P-TECH program. We have robotics, also mechatronics, um, CNC machinists, composite bonding, and we have the early college high school P-TECH. And in our P-TECH program uh, with composite bonding, we are partnered with Bell Helicopter. And Bell actually introduced a mentoring program this spring semester that we plan to carry throughout the program um, and expand it. This mentoring program has Bell employees who have been um, trained and certified to work with adolescents on, um, on our campus to actually help them learn more about the career that they're choosing, the pathway, and um, to answer any questions and just share real life experiences. Along with that mentoring program, we have uh, monthly hands-on activities where Bill comes in and um, we do various activities um, with composite bonding. They had one project uh, where they actually made walking sticks using the composite bonding uh, method. So our students were able to actually um, get their hands on the composite bonding, understand what they read and learned in class, and actually manipulate the material to make something functional. Um, as well as we've had uh, some partners that you don't see listed on my screen, such as Texas Instruments. They have actually come in and um, work with our students on hands-on activities with our um, robotics and coding. And so we had some really cool activities where students were able to program their robots and have them do all kinds of obstacle courses. And then uh, we also have for our um, early college high school, our partner is Texas Westland University, where we actually, uh, students are able to gain 60 plus 
well, 60 hours, up to 60 hours of college credit, dual credit. And our program actually begins in the ninth grade and students are uh, going to be taking nine to 12 hours beginning their freshman year on campus at Dunbar High School. We have um, a couple of embedded professors on our campus, one professor for Spanish, another for history courses. And they work with our freshman, sophomore, and junior um, students. We also have a visiting professor for English uh, from Wesleyan that works with our students, our juniors. Our seniors actually attend Wesleyan University on campus the fall and spring semester. In fact, in the spring, our students are able to visit the university before they matriculate in the fall, just to get an idea, get a tour, learn about um, the buildings, and even meet some of the professors that uh, they will be having classes with. Um, this is a very unique opportunity for our students um, being able to matriculate through a four-year university, um, private university, Texas Wesleyan University, and gain those credits um, for high school and college. We also offer on-ramps and AP capstone classes, and we have our other partner, TCC South Campus, where our students are engaged in um, robotics and composite bonding courses. Students are able to um, receive an applied science degree in robotics and industrial certification with composite bonding and machinist work. And then for our GSPLC program, we have aviation, cosmetology, and automotive. Um, currently with our automotive, we have um, nearly 100% passage of our industry cert for level one and level two. And we have students who have actually graduated from Dunbar and have been hired, at least two students that I know of, um, making uh, exceptional salaries. Uh, when uh, the, the, um, a, the automotive teacher joked that his students are making more money than he is earning. Um, so, and then for our cosmetology, we also have a very high passage of uh, students gaining their industry certification before graduating, and they are able to do hands-on um, uh, industry, I guess, the industry level training that they will be um, expected to have in order to pass their certs, such as um, pedicures, manicures, facials, um, different hair styling and coloring, and they also have um, eyelash installation, which the girls are excited about that. Um, they have also, um, they presented in our TTE showcase and they did a fabulous job, our cosmetology, automotive, and our aviation. And our aviation program, uh, we are actually um, doing very well with partners outside of our program wanting to come in and work with us. An example is um, American Airlines has invited Dunbar to come and check out their aviation um, program at American Airlines. And so we're excited to participate in that. And that is happening um, actually next month in April. So along with all of the wonderful programs that we offer, we have a team of teachers and staff who are committed to our students at um, Dunbar. And with that, we have paired our um, program with the freshman success coach in the team. And so with that, we have created leadership teams to support our students with recruiting and uh, sustainability. And part of that sustainability plan is that we will be monitoring and tracking our students and providing um, advising for them, the college advising piece and also helping them with their SEL, social emotional learning. And we also have a testing team where we will be providing testing resources and testing prep, test prep for um, programs such as the college uh, board test for ACT, SAT, PSAT. And then we also are going to be offering TSIA boot camp for our students so that we can um, make, make sure they're successful in their testing. Um, categories. And as you can see, there is a finger pointing to the QR code. If you could just go ahead and snap that with your um, phone, you can find out more information about our wonderful Paul Lunce Dunbar High School, where we believe that excellence is the expectation, not the exception. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Dr. Peterson. So we are going to move on quickly to um, our next campus. Um, it is actually Eastern Hills High School and the specialist from Eastern Hills is not here this evening, but we do wanna let you know that there are spots available um, there in their public service and cybersecurity, um, our PTEC um, that we have there um, at Eastern Hills. So if you are interested, um, in a career um, at dealing with the all things um, cybersecurity, this is going to be a great option for you. And then also, if you're interested in law enforcement or anything um, as far as EMT and possible fire science, this is also going to be a great program for you um, at Eastern Hills High School. So next, uh, we have uh, Ms. Roxanne Wiesti from Northside High School. Okay. Hello from Northside High School. So we have, can, am I, can you hear me, Jacqueline? Yes, ma'am, I can. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I couldn't see. Um, okay, so Northside High School has the Medical Professions P-TECH Academy. So again, P-TECH, you've heard that several times, and there are similarities in all the P-TECHs, college credits, free for the student, certifications, all of those things are the same. Um, P-TECH is a great opportunity for a hardworking student to get degrees, certifications. The neat thing about it is it's um, for any level of student who's ready to work hard and you can come out with as many as 60 hours in college credit or a certification and or a certification. We have farm tech, EMT, patient care and certified nurses assistant. So we are a medical-based program. Our partner is James L. West, and um, we're in our second year and it's going strong. So Medical Professions P-TECH at Northside is an option for you. We also have automotive technology. So hands-on in, um, in the garage, in the shop, brand new shop, um, opportunities for internships and um, lots of certifications in the automotive program. So we also have a few spots in that program. Culinary arts and hospitality. We have a very large culinary arts program and we have a few spots left. We have certifications, competitions. Um, we have lots of hands-on, lots of um, different opportunities, lots of taste testing going on in the lab. That's for sure. Um, they're cooking for teachers, they're cooking for um, community members are doing all sorts of really interesting things and they have an amazing facility to do it in. They're also real big on competition. So they love to go out and compete. And um, that is something fun that they do. So lots of fun stuff going on, great certifications for um, jobs during high school and after high school. So a lot of opportunity in culinary arts and hospitality. Mariachi is our last program and the Mariachi program is award-winning. The neat thing about it is that it is for all levels. Okay, so if you're a new player and you wanna get in and play around and, and be in, in Mariachi, you can do that. If you're a veteran player, you can also do that. There are lots of different levels for musicians, lots of different levels for competitions. Um, some kids wanna come in and just learn a new instrument like the harp, for example. Um, other kids, uh, want to come in and hone their skill. So they do state, local, and national competitions, and they are amazing. So lots of, um, lots of in opportunity in the mariachi program. And that's it for Northside. We're located on the north side. That's right. And um, we're the school up on the hill. So we've been there for 100 years, and um, it's a great place to be. I'll put my contact info in the box in the chat. Thank you very much, Roxanne. Okay, and so next up, we have um, Polytechnic High School. Hello. Um, can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. All right. My name is Philip Collier. I'm at Polytechnic High School as the post-secondary success specialist, and I want to introduce you to some of the programs that we have here at our historic Polytechnic High School. Um, First, we've gone through a lot of renovations at Poly over the past two years. We have had millions of dollars worth of renovations with new wings and complete re interior renovations. So it's a brand new campus almost uh, compared to what it was before. Um, our most uh, 
A uh, popular program is the automotive program. Um, we also have our culinary program as well, uh, which is very popular. However, we only have openings right now in our education P-TECH and computer support services program. So I want to tell you a little bit more about those, particularly uh, the education P-TECH. As you guys have heard a little bit about the P-TECH program from the other uh, schools, it offers students in a, uh, the ability to graduate when they graduate high school with an associates of art degree. Our uh, specialty here at Poly is teaching. We have some of the best teachers in Fort Worth ISD here at Poly, um, and uh, these teachers are going to be working hands-on uh, teaching students how to become teachers. So if you're a son or daughter, uh, if you've noticed within them that ability to uh, kind of be a leader, and um, if you notice them with their peers, um, teaching them different uh, skills, then I think your son or daughter would be great in our program. Uh, to become uh, uh, and to learn how to become a teacher. And I always say too that even if you have your son or daughter may not want to uh, necessarily become a teacher, um, it's a great program anyways because it allows them to learn those leadership skills that they can use in pretty much anything they do in college. Um, so uh, our second program, which is computer support services, um, also uh, is very uh, important because with all this new technology we have going on in the world, um, with computers and, and cell phones and uh, everything I'm sure you've seen your kids use nowadays. Um, there's got to be people to work on those things. So uh, here at Poly, we specialize in our uh, computer support uh, program, which is under IT. And if you guys know anything about that, it's a great way to make money um, in here. And they will actually learn hands-on skills where they're working on computers every day. Um, our students also go around and help the other teachers and uh, around campus to fix their computer issues. So they're sort of like a live uh, IT support system. They're going to walk away with uh, certifications that will help them get a job. Um, and and it's, a, it's just a fantastic program. So I encourage you, if you have a student that um, is really into computers and loves tinkering around with things, to get them involved and, and, and say, hey, they got this awesome program here at Poly where they can kind of really get hands on. So um, thank you so much for uh, giving me the opportunity to share that with you guys, and I'll put my contact info in the chat box as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Collier. Hey, a brand new specialist doing an amazing job and doing some great things at Poly High School. So you want to reach out and contact him to get some information. Hey, and so we also have up next, um, we have Pascal High School. Hey, and we have Dr. Terry Blaisdell that's going to let you know what's available at that campus. Hi, good evening. Uh, right now we're just recruiting for our AP Capstone Academy for incoming 10th graders. So if you have a current ninth grader looking for a great program, Capstone is a good choice. Uh, the Capstone program is a general college prep type of program. Students are required to take advanced classes in all of their core classes, math, science, English, history, all four years, as well as the two AP Capstone classes. They can earn a certificate or even a diploma from College Board, depending on uh, how many other AP classes they choose to take and the qualifying scores that they get on those end of year exams. Um, the other kind of side benefit is Capstone is on the Common App for College. So if you have a student putting in a college application, there's a little checkbox on that college application that says, did you participate in and earn a certificate or a diploma from College Board in the Capstone program? And there's a little check mark there just to alert colleges because colleges are the ones that proposed this program in the first place. And they're really excited to get students who have successfully gone through that program. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Thank you very much, Dr. Blaisdell. Hey, and so next up, we actually will have Southwest High School and Sam Mosley will tell us about um, what's available at Southwest. Hey y'all, good evening. Um, we have four programs available for you to apply to at Southwest High School. Um, first is our early college high school. So that gives students the opportunity to earn an associate's degree from TCC. Um, TCC South is our partnering campus, and so students take <clears throat> a combination of high school and dual credit classes to achieve that goal. We have a broadcast journalism and media tech program. Students learn the ins and outs of 
um, basically how to operate audio and video equipment. Students learn how to be in front of a camera, how to be behind it. Um, they learn skills, everything from broadcasting to um, photography, graphic design, um, shooting video, editing video, creating audio, um, sports broadcasting, lots of different opportunities within that program. Thirdly, we have a music and sound design program. So in that program, students learn kind of how the uh, music industry works. They learn how to create music, how to um, write song lyrics, how to um, record music, produce it, perform it. Anything that's related to the music creation process, students will learn. And then lastly, we have a welding program. Um, the welding program offers students the opportunity to get two different welding certifications um, by the time they graduate high school. And that is a um, welding certification in structural welding and a welding certification in sheet welding. I will put my information in the chat as well as our school website. Feel free to reach out if you're interested. Thank you very much, Mr. Mosley. Okay, uh, next up, we have um, Jane Carr is our specialist at Western Hills High School, and she's going to let you know about the programs available there. Hey, so good evening, everyone. At Western Hills, we have two programs that are available, Applied Learning, um, also called New Tech, and then Computer Support and Services Program. Under the Applied Learning Program, students are uh, more in a project-based learning environment, and so they are able to have an engaging experience and also take ownership of the topics that are studied uh, through partnering with their teachers to determine subjects and then how they'll uh, study it, their approaches to study. Um, the idea is to become a critical thinker, a collaborator, which working in teams and groups is now more important than ever, and also a um, communicator. So we also want to empower our students to take uh, ownership of their education. And so these skills that they'll be learning will be helpful, whether they're planning to go to college or kickstart their career or even join the military. Um, once they're in their junior, senior levels, they'll be able to participate in internships if they'd like, where they can have a practical job related experience building um, ex internship. And um, so we also through that and also under our computer services program, students can earn up to 42, possibly even 60 hours as we progress through of college for free. Um, and those would be the core courses that you would need for almost any college bachelor's program that you were going to pursue. Our computer support and services program uh, deals primarily with databases and applying knowledge of databases to various applications. Students would also be able to work on the hardware. Um, these are skills that are in high demand right now and apply to any job field a student may want to go into. The, the largest areas that jobs exist are in commercial, industrial, military, and uh, scientific. Um, there are job-related or industry-based certifications that are available, Microsoft Technology Associates, um, Associate of Windows Operating Systems, CompTIA A+, which is the first of six levels in computer security, and then the OSHA 10, 10-hour 10 general industry certification. Um, great school, it's traditional school, so you get to blend both the college courses with sports or music, fine arts, um, clubs and different things like that. So it's a total experience and I'd be delighted to have you there and help you through your journey. I will put my information in the chat. 
Thank you very much, Jane. Again, we've heard some great things about so many programs that we have in our district and hoping that there's something that you will find um, of interest to you. Okay, and so our next um, program that we have, or our school is actually Odie Wyatt High School. Okay, and um, we do not currently have a specialist on that, side, on that campus. So I wanna tell you briefly a couple of things about the programs that we have there. So we have automotive technology that's available there, construction technology. We have our Collegiate Academy, which you've heard a little bit about, um, where you have the ability to earn an associate's degree um, when you are in that Collegiate Academy. Um, we have spots available um, in our culinary arts program there, okay? And then as well as having spots there um, in medical. So if you are interested in any of these programs, please go to um, the link that I have in the chat or go on the Fort Worth ISD Gold Seal website, and you'll be able to click to complete um, a late application for one of these programs. Okay, and so next we have um, our AP capstone program that's um, available at Benbrook High School. So we actually have a specialist uh, from Benbrook that's gonna tell you a little bit about that. So if you would please um, come in and let us know, uh, Mr. Kovic, so that you can tell us about your program at Benbrook. Sure, uh, I'm Dave Koenig with Benbrook Middle High, and I'll just talk briefly about our AP capstone program that we have. Um, Benbrook, we're located on 377, and Benbrook, just off I-20, um, a couple other schools had already talked a little bit about Capstone. Um, and so it's from College Board. And we equip students for independent research, uh, collaborative teamwork and communication skills, in addition to a rigorous course load of different AP classes. Uh, students will also take AP seminar and AP research. Um, they have to get honors or higher and all core classes for all four years of high school. AP seminar um, teaches students how to evaluate credibility of sources of information and step-by-step -step how to develop a research question and write a research paper. Uh, very valuable for all classes as well as getting ready for ACT and SAT. Um, completing the program, you can get a certificate or diploma, uh, which look very good on your college applications. Uh, once on campus, uh, we also have CTE programs in business with industry certification available. Um, we have students who've already made thousands of dollars in their own businesses. Uh, we have AB Tech, education, uh, also engineering, partnering with Lockheed Martin, got sports, uh, district champions and multiple sports, music, art, others. You can check out our website. I'll be posting all those in the chat. Uh, if you have more questions about Benbrook and how you can be involved, look forward to meeting you. Thank you very much, Mr. Koenig. Hey, and so next, um, we just heard a chance, had a chance to hear about Benbrook. And so next, um, we will be sharing information about Young Women's Leadership Academy. It looks like Jasmine, the specialist there, Jasmine Williams may not have been able to log in. So just very briefly, um, what is available at Young Women's? They are completely full for their middle school program, but um, you can definitely apply if you are an incoming ninth grader or 10th grader, there are um, options open and seats there for those grades only, not for any of the middle school grades, but you can definitely apply for the high school level uh, for Young Women's Leadership Academy. Um, you'll complete the application. And at that point, um, I will share your information with the campus and they will be in contact with you to request um, the additional information that they require that they review before they assign um, any of the students to their campus. Again, this uh, they only have openings for their incoming ninth graders and incoming 10th graders at Young Women's Leadership Academy. Okay, and so next up we have Young Men's Leadership Academy. Okay, and uh, we have Ms. Carol Miles that's on with us this evening that's going to share information with you about Young Men's. Good evening, everyone. My name is Carol Miles. I am the post-secondary school specialist at YMLA. Uh, first of all, we are an all-male school, uh, 6 through 12. We are a middle and high school. We are also beginning in the fall of this year, we will be getting our T-STEM Collegiate Academy. 
Um, we are college prep schools, and so most of our classes are going to be accelerated. Um, freshmen, incoming freshmen this year will have the opportunity to earn college credit through our AP courses, through UT Austin, also through our TCC, who is our higher ed partner. Our scholars will also have the opportunity to take AP classes as well. Um, they will have the opportunity to also earn an associate's degree from TCC in either business or engineering. Those are our two programs of choice. Uh, we boast a 100% graduation rate and we've given our graduates have received over 27,000 in scholarships. We share activities with Young Women's Leadership Academy, uh, college fairs and such, as well as social activities as we are both gender specific academies. We've shared dances and proms. We also do athletic uh, game nights together. As far as athletics are concerned, we do have basketball, soccer, track and cross country. We have clubs, URL clubs like Quiz Quiz. We have chess clubs as well. Um, we offer a music club. We do have an AVID program and we do offer an after school, forward after school program. We also offer band and art, uh, and I think I said AVID, we are a great place for your young uh, scholar if you are interested. We are right now not offering any tours because of construction. Also, I do also want to mention that we do offer internships with our students through Bell, Textron, Lockheed, Axos, as well, and we've had some through Foster Engineering. I don't think we have any openings in middle school right now, but I think our ninth grade academy may still have some openings. So if you're interested, please give us um, a call or make application. I will put my name and information in the chat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mrs. Miles, for telling us about what you have available at Young Men's Leadership Academy. Hey, next is World Languages Institute. Um, they do not currently have a specialist. And so I'm briefly going to share with you um, a couple of things about world languages. Okay, and so what they have available currently um, is only going to be spots for incoming ninth graders. So if you are currently in eighth grade or you have a child currently in eighth grade that is looking for the opportunity to brighten their horizons and be able to learn um, all of the different lessons that they have there on that campus in multiple languages, um, this would be the place uh, for your student or for you if you are here and you are, an, again, an incoming ninth grader. So again, if you are interested in learning multiple language, if you are already bilingual, you would have the opportunity to learn a third language. So. Um, again, if languages are something that you are very interested in and looking for that um, as far as your career um, moving forward and being able to perform all of these things in multiple languages, then again, World Languages Institute is going to be the place for you. And this, again, is only for incoming ninth graders. If you'd like additional information, um, this is the principal's email address. Um, take a screenshot of that. And there's also a QR code listed um, on the page as well. Okay, and our next campus um, is going to be uh, Marine Creek High School. And uh, Jessica, are you online ready to go? Yes, I am here. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we're right. excited to hear about what Marine Creek has to offer. Wonderful. So um, thank you for joining us this evening, everyone. Um, Marine Creek Collegiate High School is the oldest early college high school in Fort Worth ISD. Um, we are a standalone campus, meaning only students that apply into our program attend our school. Um, we do partner with TCC Northwest Campus. We're actually housed on the TCC campus itself. Our program offers an Associate of Arts and Associate of Science degree for our students. So the goal is for them to graduate with a two-year associate's degree um, along with their high school diploma at the same time. Um, it is 100% free. Um, Try to think of what else. Let's see. We have uh, AVID on our campus as well. So your student would be in our AVID program all four years. Um, if you do have questions, we you can email me at the email address on the screen there. I'll put it in the chat as well. Um, we have about four or five spots left for ninth graders, but that'll be all that's available for our program.
Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much for that information. Hey, next up we have TCC South, uh, for, with a, is one of our um, also standalone campuses, and it is a PTAC campus. Okay, um, I thought I saw Millie uh, Mildred Shway is the specialist there on that campus. Okay, maybe she will jump back on with us. Um, but again, um, they have um, a PTEC campus um, where with the students that are there, they do also have the ability to learn, earn an associate's degree, um, which is going to be an associate's in business, um, also a possibility of an associate's in water management, associate's in electrical technology, and then also associate's in line technician. Okay, and this campus actually has openings for uh, ninth graders and 10th graders. So if you're interested in having um, a career in any of these industries, then Fort Worth ISD, that PTAC, again, the PTAC is the Pathways in Technology. This would be a great place for you uh, to be able to have a great start, um, either to launch you into um, your four-year degree or to make sure that you are career ready when you graduate from Fort Worth ISD. Okay, and then um, next we have I am Terrell, and um, we have our specialist, um, Melanie, Mel <laughs> Melanie Maxwell, that is going to come online and tell you all about um, what I am Terrell has to offer. Hi, as she said, I am Melanie Maxwell. I'm the specialist at I am Terrell, and we have eight programs technically. I'm going to tell you about the visual and performing arts side first. Um, we have art, choir, band, which is under instrumental music, dance, um, orchestra, piano, and theater. And it, band and orchestra are both combined under the instrumental music if you go to our website um, that I just put in the chat. All of these require auditions. Um, don't let that scare you off. Basically, it's just a time for you to showcase a little bit about what you can already do in that program and helps our teachers know how to place you um, so that they can help you grow in those programs that you are interested in. The TEAST and all of those do have openings right now. Um, I think art is our closest one. Uh, I think art only has about three spots remaining but all the rest have um, quite a, well, theater only has three too. So, um, though, but we do ha still have spots available in all of those currently. Then we have T-STEM. T-STEM is going to be our um, Associates of Applied Science and Robotics Automation. And students will have the opportunity to get an Associates degree in Applied Science or, and, or a certification in mechatronics. So um, this you just have to apply for. And then um, as we have capacity, we would uh, be able to let you in. That one is pretty close to being full as well. And then we do have 10th grade openings in all of the VPAs uh, currently, except for piano. And then we have current uh, 10th grade openings in, um, STEM, I think we only have like three or four spots left in 10th grade STEM. The 10th grade STEM does not have the associate's degree. The associate's degree is just starting with the incoming freshman this year. Um, I think that is all the information I can give you about our programs right now. If you have any questions, feel free to e email me and the link I put for our website has the application. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing that information with us, Melanie, about your programs. Hey, and so you have now heard from all of our specialists um, on all of our campuses, including our principal, um, one of our principals on our elementary campuses that have space available. So if you've heard anything of interest at all, please make sure and log in to the website that 
is linked uh, in the chat. I will go in and place that in the chat one more time um, so that you have the opportunity to click on that link to go and apply. So we thank you very much for taking the time out of your evening to be with us and to be able to hear about all of the amazing opportunities that Fort Worth ISD has available, um, not only for our students within Fort Worth ISD, if you live outside of Fort Worth ISD, you can apply as well. And so our late application, so you understand how it works, there is no lottery with the late application. The late application is going to be first come, first serve. So as you apply, as there are spots available, you are going to be filled. Uh, the spots will be filled in that order that you apply. So it does not matter if you did not complete that on-time app. If we have some spots open then, and you are the next one up on the list, you will have the ability to apply for that and you will be the one that would be placed in that spot. Okay, but we definitely want you to take a moment, look through things and make sure that you are going to look and find your path within Fort Worth ISD. So we are very thankful um, that you took the time again out to be with us this evening. So if you have questions, I will stay on for a few more minutes to be able to answer any of those. But outside of that, that would be um, the conclusion of this webinar this evening. So again, thank you very much uh, for joining us this evening. And specialists, thank you so much for taking the time out and sitting with us this evening. Um, you are free to exit unless you'd like to stay for a couple of minutes and stay on and see if anyone has specific questions for you. Um, outside of that, um, you are completely free to continue with your evening. Thank you again for, for joining us. I appreciate you.
Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Catalina. I appreciate you. All right, good night, everyone. You can check out the video on the Gold Seal site tomorrow. It's also available on Facebook tonight. If you have any questions, I hope you saw the Let's Talk link. You can go to www.fwisd.org slash choice and everything you need is available there. Thanks for coming. And we hope you found a great program for your student. Good night. Thank you.